Pittsburgh. And uh, welcome everybody. I'm Jane, Jane and Bob Rowe here. And uh, we've got Matt on the line and also Renee Meyer. And uh, oops, I am not in the right spot on my program here. So now I will start over. Hang on one second. I've not had that happen before. Okay, here we go. Uh, so it is that time of the year again, right? Where we're all wanting to do some spring cleaning and uh, we don't like to be breathing in all those toxins and that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. We always have to talk about a disclaimer and most importantly, you know, we know you can read, uh, but we're not medical professionals. And uh, for, in particular for this class, we believe that when you reduce toxins and give your body the natural support that it needs, your body's empowered for optimal performance. So um, that's the basic on the disclaimer and, and kind of why we're doing this class uh, um, for our home. And we're gonna have Matt take it from here. All right, so we're gonna talk about different areas in the home and talk about some different uh, products that you could replace with a, a better non-toxic option. Yeah. So pretty much, we just are wanting to let you know about all of the chemicals that you may not be aware of in the items in your home. So especially cleaning products, um, but a lot of the products that you buy at the store for your home have these chemicals that may not be good for your body. So like cleaning products, as we know, um, most of them you'll die if you ingest them yeah. uh, and don't go immediately to the hospital. So. Um, those are always bad, um, and you know, obviously, the skin irritation for most of those is very high as well. So, um, if you just think of bleach, uh, you would never want to touch bleach um, for good reason. And so, uh, we're going to talk a bit, little bit about how you can replace some of those cleaning products later, um, and also other products in the home as well. Um, so. As you can see on this slide, there's kind of a list of different chemicals that are found in different products throughout your home. Um, one I wanted to highlight was uh, on the far right in the middle, sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium laureth sulfate. So those two, um, they can be found in products that foam. So, and it's pretty amazing, almost 90%, about 90% of personal care products that foam have this in them. And so the first one, sodium lauryl sulfate, um, that one, luckily it's not a carcinogen. They've researched that, but it does have some major skin irritation and uh, eye irritation when in higher quantities. Um, and it also increases the chance for canker sores um, and it's a little bit of a um, little bit of difference in the studies. Some found that it increases the uh, the size and the pain of canker sores, and several found that it increases the rate of canker sores. And it's also allowed as a food additive, um, which is interesting. So um, that one's not deadly. But then we go on to sodium laureth sulfate, um, where a byproduct of making the chemical is actually uh, a carcinogen, according to California, and the FDA, um, the FDA highly encourages manufacturers to remove it from the sodium laureth sulfate, um, but it's not required by law to be removed. Um, so that, along with it's also very irritant, um, it's it's pretty and it's pretty common as well. It's it's found in a lot of cosmetic and toiletry items throughout the house. So it's a little scary if you think about it. Everything that foams may be deadly. <laughs> Not quite, but the the small amounts of chemicals that you putting on your that you're putting on your skin, you know, that's 
you want to think about all of those tiny amounts of things that may be poisonous to your body that you're using every day. Mm -hmm. And um, most people are just not aware of that. Yeah. All right. So just like chemicals are found in like foaming products or different products that you put on your skin, um, there's also in products that you use to scent your air that you breathe. And so that's the air that you breathe, breathe is just as important as what you put on your skin, maybe more important because we don't even realize that it's going into our bodies all the time. So um, our brain is very directly connected to our sense of smell, and these chemicals can easily get into our bodies. Um, some of these chemicals in air fresheners and things are very, very irritant and possibly cancer causing. So um, that's another easy thing to replace with essential oils is these air fresheners. And I find that the essential oils don't give me headaches like other air fresheners do. Um, but I think the, uh, and I think they smell better than the other air fresheners. So, all right, I'll hand it off to, I think it's Renee next. Or no, no I, I think it's, think yeah. I, oh, it's dad next, yeah. yeah. Okay, Matt, thank you very much. Yeah. You've, uh, you dutifully uh, scared us uh, to death. <laughs> so one of the, one of the things that uh, has always impressed me with Young Living is uh, the seed to seal guarantee. Uh, I was very fortunate to work for the Boeing company for over 30 years and build all sorts of beautiful flying machines, both you know commercial and military. And one of the things that I learned over the years and that Boeing uh, you know stands for in every regard is quality. Uh, and the one way that you can ensure quality every day on every airplane program is having total process control. And so from my introduction to, you, to Young Living Essential Oils, probably the single biggest thing that has impressed me with their product line is their seed to seal guarantee. From the time you put a seed in the ground, uh, it's cultivated, it's just dist distillation process, uh, their own testing process and third-party testing uh, and, and bottling and sealing the products. They control that whole process through their farms and their partner farms. And uh, that pro total process control is, is what gives you that seed to seal uh, promise. And knowing that the quality uh, that you get is 100% therapeutic grade, whatever essential oil it is. Uh, you know, I've, I could go on and on about total process control and, uh, and what value and what quality uh, means to, to customer loyalty. Uh, but I think most of you know that, you know, because you know that you want what you're buying. And uh, that's the biggest thing about Young Living is that you know you're going to get exactly what they're telling you you're getting yep. every single time. Yeah. Okay. So, um, just like Bob was talking about, uh, and Matt was talking about both of their diffusers, right? That's a, a way to replace the air fresheners and the, and the toxic candles. Um, you know, there's these wax candles there. Are, uh, so you can have romantic candlelight dinners and things like that, you know, but, uh, you buy all beeswax now, but, um, you could do it as simple as, just adding your favorite uh, essential oil to some distilled water and spray bottle and having that, you know, um, especially if you're just getting started and you might get, or you will get a diffuser if you do the Everyday Oils Premium Starter Kit. You get to pick a diffuser um, and that comes in your kit. Uh, but I just know when we started, I'd had one diffuser, but it's like, oh, I want my diffuser everywhere in the house. And so it's really kind of handy to be able to have um, a DIY, very simple uh, recipe where you can then uh, freshen your air safely. And purification is a great one. Um, uh, we use it in the, always have a little bottle in there in the bathroom. That's always nice. <laughs> so... Um, so there's a DIY, DIY. and then um, this is another easy way 
to kind of diffuse the oils um, is just by putting a drop on a cotton ball. So you can, you know, put that in the garbage can or uh, wherever you think you need it. Um, Purification is just great for any kind of pet odor issues, that kind of thing as well. So just so you know, we'll post all the DIY. We're going to flip through these pretty quick. Um, and all the DIY recipes will be posted on the event page on um, the healthy connections.biz page. So next we'll talk um, about bathrooms, uh, which we kind of started about that a little bit a few minutes ago, but um, that's, that's a good place to keep clean. And so this is our absolute favorite um, cleaning product, of course, that, that Young Living has, and it's because <laughs> this is the cleaning product that we use. Um, I remember starting out at first loving the idea of being able to clean my shower and not feel like I need to wear a gas mask. And not only clean my shower, but there's benefits to those um, essential oils that they put in that they can put into this cleaner. So the next slide here, uh, we'll just talk just real quick. Right, it's got five different single essential oils in there: the clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And uh, they were inspired by these thieves that would rub themselves down with the, the spice traders, and then they were ripping people off that were dying of the plague. And so um, they didn't die. And so instead of getting the full prison, you know, or whatever they were going to do with them when they got caught. They had a less, lesser um, treatment or uh, sentence. sentence, I mean, uh, for that. And so, again, when I'm cleaning, I feel like this is good. I'm not harming myself. In fact, I'm probably uh, boosting my immunity. So this is how, you know, thieves, you can use it for everything. And 30 parts of water to one part of the cleaner. In fact, I've, uh, you know, this is just what we've in the bottle. And of course, we've got the smaller bottle as well and the larger bottle. But uh, that's for most cleaning applications. If you need something a little bit stronger, you can go, you know, more part or less parts water, more part cleaner. And even down to cleaning glass. But you got it. You, Put, barely put any thieves cleaner in there for that and sometimes I add just a little bit of vinegar to it. And down on the left here we've got uh, some different other recipes here. Add a cap full of the cleaner to a quarter cup of baking soda and that's a great uh, toilet bowl cleaner. Um, and then toothbrushes, you know, we don't think about that very often but especially during, um, you know, different family members, whether they're having uh, colds and flu and all that kind of thing. You know, that's, that is in their mouth and all that kind of thing. So as I think it's important to uh, make sure that you clean the toothbrushes every once in a while. And just put a cap full of that with a little bit of water and let them soak every once in a while. It's a, it's a great idea. And here's the best thing about thieves, besides the fact that instead of having 10 to 20 bottles of cleaner, <laughs> And, and, and all the toxic sink. chemicals and we're toxic, talking about. Exactly. Um, we basically have one, and uh, and it's economical because you get like in a large the large bottle you can get eighty bottles of cleaner. It costs you about a dollar ten a bottle. So that's that's pretty economical. Uh, Young Living has it, like in the bathroom we've got a lot of personal care cleaner, cleaner hair, and all that kind of thing. And we're not going to get into any of those, but we just wanted you to be aware of the fact that um, again, like Bob talked about, every product that Young Living has, um, they have a promise behind that, and they're gonna they're gonna give us the best best quality. So in the kitchen, and I think Renee will talk about the kitchen a little more. Yeah, sure. I'll talk about these. <clears throat> um, so here we highlight the dish soap. This is a fairly new product. Um, I like this product so much because it says on here, free from SLS. That's the one Matt talked about. Um, the, thing, the thing that you'll recognize is you're missing the foaming suds. So you're going to wash your dishes, but it's not going to be this big foaming mess. Um, this a little bit goes a long way. I've really enjoyed this. It's been a lot easier on my hands. I don't have dry hands. 
I haven't been wearing fish gloves and I've been just fine. I haven't got chipped, chopped hands. I think that says a lot. What's in this product is not harming my skin and I really appreciate that. Yeah. No, no deadly foam in there. Exactly, none of that deadly foam. <laughs> we don't need that degreaser. These natural products do it on their own and it's really amazing. Yeah. And now that we talk about not foaming, and then we look at our, we have this foaming hand soap. It's so funny, but I think it's the way the pump works. I don't know exactly. It's, it's but not I the know deadly that's, foam. That's the okay foam, I think. This is the okay yeah. foam, exactly. It doesn't so. have the SLS in there. I'm 99% I'm sure, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm on right. it. Also. Yeah. <laughs> we use the Thieves hand soap. Um, it's, a, it's everywhere. everywhere. It's in our bathroom. It's in it's in the kitchen. It's everywhere. So it's. it's I've started to travel with it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So the I take it with me when I go places. I'm like, oh, I brought my own soap. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Because well, otherwise my hand is burning and my skin is all chapped if I use somebody else's soap. And yep. yeah, you'll realize the difference of these products right away, and then you'll just want to travel with them. No kidding. No kidding. Yeah, the little bottle of thieves cleaner spray bottle I, I take that of course a little uh antibacterial not antibacterial the uh waterless hand cleaner um, purifier, I think purifier. Call it. yes 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 so um they also have this fruit and veggie spray you know I'll, I'll be honest i haven't used that yet and it's because i just use thieves <laughs> i just spray down all my oh. veggies with the thieves and so I just haven't, it's a newer product, you know, and so I just haven't gotten to that one yet, but we wanted to put it up there so that you know it's available. Some people purchase fruit and veggie cleaner out on the market, and I'm not sure what's in those. I know that these are great. So, right. Well, and, and one of the things that, you know, for example, when we were at our home in, in Vegas, uh, we don't like the water quality. And, you know, rather than rinsing your vegetables in water that you don't like, using this fruit and veggie spray is a great option. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Renee's back with this. She tried this. I did. I made this today because I was running low on my cascade. Always <laughs> buy. And, you know, I was running low and I thought, I have these ingredients. This is what's so great is a lot of these recipes you'll find take, you'll need baking soda, and borax I had because I used to make my own laundry soap. The citric acid, not everybody will have in their cabinet, but um, it's relatively inexpensive to find. So yeah, just one cup of baking soda, one cup of borax, citric acid. I just whipped it up in a jar and added the orange and the lemon oil. And um, I went ahead and tested it and I didn't notice any difference. There was no residue left on my dishes. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I think it's, it's very economical. Yeah. Mainly because I already had those products, but um, baking soda is fairly cheap. So is Borex. You can get them in large quantities. So I think a little bit will go a long way. And you use the same amount that you'd use with the other um, dishwashing detergent. And actually, I could not even find ingredients on this. Just a lot of warnings <laughs> you know, for if you ingest it. So I couldn't Probably actually find. In there. Yeah, do not get in your eyes. Do not get on your skin keep out of reach of children. Yeah. I feel so much better having this if yeah. my kids get a hold you of this. your dishes with that. Right. You're eating yeah. off <laughs> you're eating off of yeah, plates that have a little bit of that residue. There's always a little bit of that left. So Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Okay, I'm gonna uh, back to the kitchen. We've already showed some of those others, but again, you can clean with the thieves anywhere in your kitchen. The other thing is, there's a link there. I'll put that on the website as well, and it's another um, Young Living distributor, and she cleaned her oven. It was a blue one like this in the picture. That's not hers, but I found a picture of it, uh, of a blue oven, and it was great because of that color, and you, she just uses it straight on, and that is her oven cleaner. So instead of having this big toxic smell and all that kind of stuff. So check our, check the uh, healthyconnections.biz page for that. Um, on to the laundry room. We've got uh, the Thieves Laundry Soap, which is, which is great. This is another new one. I know uh, that, uh, Renee, you use this as well. Yeah. Again, this, this states on it what it's free from. SLS, dyes, 
petroleum chemicals, formaldehyde, no phosphates, no synthetic perfumes, and no optical brighteners. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but um, this has been great. A little bit goes a long way, just like everything else. Um, it's a small bottle, but we've had it for a couple months, and so you just fill it's less than a quarter of a cap for my high efficiency yes. washer, yeah. and it smells great. I love the scent. Yeah, no, it's yes. good. Yeah, the, the oils that are in there are listed there. They're, uh, those are all great scents. So um, we, we do have some of the laundry soap. Mm -hmm. I think it's in Vegas. It's in I, Vegas. Okay, yeah. I, I, we don't have it here. So this is what we've used, though, for years. One. You just used it, Matt? No, I just used the thieves. I didn't even know we had some of the. Laundry. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so we've been using the thieves for years for our laundry, and it's just a capful. That's all we've been using for a long time. And, and I like the uh, laundry soap as well, but this, they both work great, so. Yep, two good options. Yeah. Here's another DIY um, stain remover. Again, it's just super simple, you know, on, on uh, you know, the Castile soap and stuff is, is pretty easy to find in that. So, I, I again, I, to be honest, I just use a little of the Thieves if I really have a stain or something, you know, I might just, Put it on full, full on or something, but I haven't had too many problems, you know, with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put thieves on the white towels though, because the thieves is a little bit of brown from the cinnamon. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, that, um, I guess I don't have white towels, so I've never actually yeah. tried to put the thieves straight on a white towel. Straight on white stuff. I don't know if that would be good. But. Yeah, it's definitely fine because we have lots of white other other white clothes in the laundry because it's all you know, oh, yeah. um, diluted with all the water. So laundry crystals, I know that uh, Renee, you think you use this a lot? I do, I use this, I, it's empty now, I need to make some more, um, but I just keep it by, I just whip it up. Again, it's the same ingredients that I use for a lot of other things. It's, it's similar to what I use on my carpet, it's similar to what the dishwasher detergent, so it's very easy to just, when you run out, just make another batch. And this is great for taking the odors out, softening your clothes without using that Toxic fabric softener. I haven't bought one of those in years, so I don't even know what's in it, but I don't really care to know. I'd rather just use this because it works great. It, again, takes care of some of those stains and the odors, and I just put it in uh, where it says fabric softener in my little drawer. Cool. And I've done this before where you just add a couple drops of whatever your favorite essential oil is on a, a damp uh, washcloth, put it in your dryer. Dry your clothes, another, another great way of doing that. Um, linen spray, the uh, biggest thing here is you don't wanna use any oils that are dark, you know, like the blue, blue oils, or like Matt said, like the thieves on there. And again, we'll post all of these. It's great to use lavender on linen, especially for the kids' linens, anybody's linens, but especially if you've got, um, you know, it helps the kids go to sleep a little bit faster. So floors and furniture, uh, again, it's thieves again, right? It's going to be always thieves. One capful to six cups distilled water. That's, you know, all it takes, you know, to have a whole bucket full of cleaner for your floors. There's a great carpet freshener that's just very similar to the fabric softener <laughs> that uh, they're the laundry crystals that Renee just used. And again, there's lots of different choices of oils to use that you can use your favorite. Um, we've done this before. Oh, there's your jar of it. Go ahead. Right jar. And I just use a little cardstock and punched holes in it. Oh, good. Ooh, so, yeah. Like so then I just fill it up and shake it on the carpet and leave it for 15, 20 minutes and vacuum up. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Um, we have dogs and so sometimes our vacuum cleaner gets kind of stinky. And so, um, this is a great way again, just throw some of the oil on uh, a cotton ball and put it in the, in the bag there. Uh, wood polish. I have not yet uh, tried this. When I found this recipe, we, we've been, we're still building our home. <laughs> so we really don't, most of our items that we would polish are in storage still. But uh, this is what we'll be using. Most people know orange oil is, uh, is very good for wood. Uh, the garage. Again, we're back to thieves, and here we are. You know, you can use all these different strengths. Um, and, you know, in the garage, if you've got some real 
heavy degreasing to do. You know, you just, just get uh, less water and more thieves. And I think for me, I wanted to say like really quick, some of those ratios, can, for me, it's like too much math. So I'm like, okay, I just put a little on and if that doesn't work, I just, you know, put a little more. It doesn't have to be rocket science with this kind of thing. Like my bottle here is part vinegar, part thieves, part distilled water, but it's, I don't really measure it out. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't have to be like, oh, that looks too complicated. It's really not, no. so if it's not working for you, add more thieves. That's yeah. usually the answer for me. And same thing, Renee, I don't measure it. I just, I, I add this small amount, approximate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But, and it works, but it just cleans everything. It's so awesome. Mm -hmm. um, Some people need the numbers, so that's good. But I just yeah. wanted to give that. Timer. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a measurer or a dumper? Right. That's <laughs> just like in cooking. <laughs> um, another DIY again, um, using lemon, lemon orange and uh, purification and all those are just great oils for that. And uh, this is a this is a DIY kind of goo cleaner. You know, if you have trouble getting junk off like glass, this is a really good uh, recipe. I've used it a lot. And again, you know, your hands and you're in there and you're trying to scrub stuff off of, you know, if you're really trying to get something off that piece of glass or whatever. And it just feels so much better when you know that your hands are really being soaked with natural ingredients and like essential oils and it smells good and everything else. Stuff that's healthy for your skin too. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. And I want to add too with that, my husband is so used to using lemon on his glasses. He, he paints at work, so he gets paint on his glasses. He also just told me as I came home tonight, he took apart our remote control. It was sticking, took it apart, took some lemon oil and cleared it up because the button was sticking so bad he couldn't get to the channel he wanted and and so it's very versatile. He gets pitch on his skin. I had pitch on my fireplace the other day. I used lemon oil. Um, the coconut oil is always helpful too. And the baking soda will help you scrub. Yep, exactly. Off. Exactly. It's all good, great, great mm -hmm. stuff. So our premium starter kits, of course, are always the best way to get started. Um, the everyday oils, again, you know, we, we saw lavender, lemon, and uh, purification a lot, uh, and thieves. And so, um, you, you're gonna have a million different uses for all these everyday oils. It's the best way to go. There are three, four different um, diffusers you can choose from. To me, this is the best way to start. Although they also have these other uh, starter kits as well. Thieves is a great one, and especially if you know that's what we're talking about tonight. But personally, I would still start with the diffuser and the essential oils. Um, instead of the premium starter kit with the thieves, that's just my, that'd be my personal choice because, um, this is how to get started. I'll show you here in just a second why I would wait for the thieves. Um, main thing is to get the number of the person that has invited you to the class or the recording and, uh, give them a call. They can help you through it. It's, it's pretty simple there. Uh, but they have these essential rewards and there's a thieves essential rewards package and that is an excellent deal. Um, and so that's why I would do start with the diffuser and oils and then go to the essential rewards thieves package. That's what that's what we do. Um, this month you can earn a free a free bottle of the thieves house household cleaner lemon eucalyptus. Those are great for uh, all your cleaning. And uh, there are the details there. Minimum is 100, 190 PV. You're not required to, to buy that much. It's just that these are incentives. If people are going to buy more, they want to give back to their, their good customers. And uh, you just always want to check. If there's ever a month that you know, hey, I'm getting close to that amount, you don't want to miss out on free bottles of essential oils by 10 bucks, you know, or something like that. So... There you go with that, and uh, we ran, we rambled a little bit, but that's okay, and uh, we want to honor your time, so we're going to finish up here, and thanks for attending, and we hope you can make it to our next class in a couple of weeks, Essential Oils 101, and if you already know about the oils, bring a friend that's been asking about it, so thanks so much, you guys, Renee and Matt and Bob, for... Yep. Thanks. Helping us out. Healthy cleaning, everyone. Yeah, healthy cleaning. That's right. <laughs> okay.
see if I can stop the recording here.